hi everybody thank you for watching so here is a walmart i bought a haul so i did go to walmart i was trying to get the arm and hammer money maker deal so i saw that with saving with shay so huge money maker with coupons and with swag bucks so i will show you in my breakdown also i was happy to find some of these five star folders and they were on clearance in my store so the blue one and the yellow one was on clearance for 50 cents each the black one still rang up as 97 cents so do check your store what i did was i actually scanned the barcode on the walmart app while i was in there and picked the ones that actually were on clearance for 50 cents which made it an even bigger money maker so this is everything that i did get at walmart so i will show you the breakdown of each item and then how much i paid in the end work out to be a huge money maker because of the arm and hammer and that basically paid for all the rest of the stuff and i did hit my midweek bonus so i did most of these yesterday and then i'm in the process of working on the weekend bonus so if some of these do reset i'll probably go back and purchase those also if you check your ibotta i have this bonus for the month it ends at the end of the month and i need 75 rebates to get in a bonus 20 dollars. so after all these items and what i got at sprouts and cvs i'm already at 17 rebates to hit the 75 so i might get it this month i'm not sure but we'll see what happens next week and the next few weeks if i bought is really good to me and there's some amazing deals so the first two i'm gonna point out is the poise so they are four dollars and 47 cents we have two dollar coupons in this week's insert i bought is giving back two dollars i'm not sure what happened when i submitted my receipt but for some reason I bought a thought that I had purchased two of them, so I actually got four dollars back. So it worked out to be a one dollar and fifty three cent money maker for me. But then, excluding that, it would only cost you forty seven cents for those. Then I got some of the Poise Ultra Thin, so they are four eighty four, and then we have the same two dollar coupon. And then I bought us giving back three dollars, so it worked out to be a sixteen cent money maker for those. Then I got some Tide Pods, so I was able to go onto the PNG website and I printed a $2 coupon for that one. So they are normal cost of $4.94 after the $2 coupon and then the $2 rebate will get to be only $0.94 cents for that one. I also went onto a coupon database and I found the link to get the BIC coupons. So BIC, they are $5.94. There's a $3 printable coupon, so you'll end up paying $2.94, but then I bought is giving back $3, so it worked out to be a six cent money maker for that one. Then I got some of these gum, so these heartburn gum. They are $4.24. We have $2 coupons in this week's insert, and I bought is giving back $2, so it worked out to be $0.24 cents for that one. I got the nice and easy so there's three different rebates for nice and easy i got the the standard one and then also the root touch-up so the standard is six dollars and 92 cents the root touch-up is five dollars and 84 cents we have five dollar of two coupons in this week's insert so i paid seven dollars and 76 cents i had a ibotta rebate for 10 cents of any hair color there's also two three dollar I bought a rebate and there's a bonus I bought a rebate for a dollar if you purchase two of them. So it worked out to be 66 cents or 33 cents each for those two. Then I got the five star folders. So they are 50 cents each on clearance. So two of them came to a dollar and then you're getting a dollar back from Ibotta, a dollar 25 from Checkout 51 and a dollar 25 from Saving Star. So it worked out to be a two dollar and 50 cent money maker for those. And then you've got the Arm and Hammer. Oh, I forgot the gold bond. So the gold bond, they are two dollars and ninety two cents. We have one dollar coupons in this week's insert and our buyers giving back two dollars. So it worked out to be twenty four cents for that. And so basically the money maker of everything is the arm and hammer. So you, the best thing is to purchase four of them. So I did do the deal twice and you can do them twice on Swagbucks. And this promotion ends on 9.15. So do try and do that. And what I did was I purchased four of them yesterday and then I purchased four of them today. I wanted to make sure that the receipt had two separate dates. That way they don't think that's a duplicate. So I purchased four of them. They are $3.84 each. So four of them comes to $13.92. We have $1 coupons on coupons.com. And so basically after pay that, you paid $9.92. And then Swagbucks is giving 2,000 Swagbucks 
for purchasing four of them, which is equivalent of $20. So it worked out to be a $10.08 moneymaker for the four of those. And so I did do it twice, so I did make $20 for that one. Also with all these items, I did hit my midweek bonus yesterday of a dollar. So basically for all these items before coupons, it would have cost $68.95. After coupons, I paid $43.95. I got back $67.10. So I got back $24.60 from my barter, $40 from Swagbucks, $1.25 from Saving Start, and $1.25 from Checkout 51. Work out to be a $23.15 moneymaker for all those. So I haven't done Walmart in a long time, but I'm so thankful that I went back and I got some of these items. So I do give a shout out to Saving With Shay. Most of these deals she did on her video. And so um, also with the Arm & Hammer. So if you don't have Swagbucks, I will leave a link down the bottom so you can basically sign up to Swagbucks. You will get 500 points once you sign up, which is equivalent to about 50 cents. So I used to do Swagbucks a lot last year. There was always some amazing money makers on that one. Also, there's another website called My Points. And so you can do the same deal for this on My Points as well. I just think Swagbucks works out to be better overall because the points, one Swagbucks is almost like a penny, whereas with My Points, it's like for every 175 points it's equivalent of one dollar so the math there can sometimes uh, get you confused it's similar to that's why i kind of stay away from shop kicks because the uh, the equation is just a bit different i prefer just doing 2000 points is considered twenty dollars so that's easier and that's why i like going to swagbucks also if you do check some of my old videos the one good thing about swagbucks when you're redeeming your points for gift cards once a month you're allowed to get a $25 gift card at a discount so you actually save a little bit like you, I think you can save like 5% off so it works out to be cheaper um, and you use less uh, swag bug points to get that $25 gift card so that's what I kind of do I roll my money and then I get gift cards for Amazon or I can just move them over to PayPal. So that's a huge money maker that I was really happy to get. So do print off those coupons. If you don't have Swagbucks, use the link down the bottom, join Swagbucks, go to the in-store deals and make sure you add it. And then all you gotta do is upload your receipt. The, it's very easy and then the, the website will actually notice that you've got Arm & Hammer and then it gives you the points basically straight away. So it's actually quicker than I bought it when it comes to some of the rebates. So that's everything that I got at Walmart. Um, do check out my other videos. I posted quite a bit this week. So I did do my stockpile tour that's been a long time coming. So if you want to see what's actually in my stockpile, you can check out that video. I also did a video on some keto items that I got from Sprouts. And I also used digital coupons and... I bought it with that one and then I just got a few CVS couponing haul videos as well. So a lot of videos that I posted this week, I'm trying to get back into YouTube and doing a lot more videos and a lot more deals for you to try. So yeah, here is a Walmart I bought a haul. Thank you for joining me.